think if you ask parents today what they're looking for for their child, what their dreams are, they want their child to be happy. They want their child to be successful. Montessori prepares for both of those. When you walk in the classroom, there's so much learning going on, so much excitement going on. The environment's prepared so that they can go and take something off the shelf and learn it for themselves. An important part of our curriculum that I feel really sets us apart from other places would be the experiential learning component. The learning outside of the classroom that takes place, it really helps them academically, it helps them socially, and it really speaks to that whole child. Kids have so many opportunities here to develop their self-confidence. It might be academic, it might be through the hands-on kinds of aspects of our program, but one way or the other, the opportunities are there. In high school, I saw it with my peers who had been through more of the public school system, and just that they weren't a part of their own learning, they just kind of were sitting there watching it instead of really taking part and taking charge of it. Our world is changing so quickly, and so a body of knowledge isn't as important as flexibility and the ability to look at a situation, grasp what's important, and take action. That's what Montessori kids do. They take action. It produces amazing results in kids. We want kids to build confidence, and so those kinds of activities push them just enough out of their comfort zone that they might feel a little bit nervous, they might feel a little bit apprehensive, and then they find success, and then also get the feeling of, hey, I did this. I can do this, and if I can do this, I can do something else. I can do anything. I guess they just gave you that opportunity to figure out what you really loved. What's been exciting about the school is to see it grow from one little tiny classroom into a multi-building, two-campus facility that meets the needs of preschoolers through eighth grade students. I grew up in Evergreen and attended this school. It's always my daughter, she's three, and she started this year. And it's just amazing seeing the things that she's doing. Nine, ten, I get so much learning from watching the other students, watching the environment. And then as the years progress, getting to see her loving that environment and all the different things she's exposed to and the lessons that she has. Seeing her in that classroom is just, it's just an amazing thing. I just had wonderful teachers and I think that's the key is that having those amazing teachers who just are there to support you no matter what and they're just there to help you even if you may not understand something at the beginning they'll keep coaching you through it until you get it. They were really blessed to be in those classrooms with those teachers because these teachers put their hearts, their souls, their minds, they brought their best to it. It says so much about the school that they can attract that kind of talent and that kind of commitment and compassion from teachers. That's magic. That kind of empowerment, whether it's at three years old or 14 years old, gives them the ability to say, I can control my life. I can make the choices that make me happy. We want them to be lifelong learners. We want them to love learning. So we feel if they have a really positive experience through eighth grade, they might go on and really not only enjoy learning in high school and in college, but really, really want to learn um, throughout their entire lives. Those students come in and teachers appreciate what they bring to the table in the classroom and outside of the classroom as well. So you see those students becoming leaders in different positions in the school. You see these students participating in a wide variety of activities. What it really did for our daughter is it set her up so that when she graduated and then went on to the public high school, she was able to excel. In fact, she did very well. Um, and I'm really proud because she's graduating as valedictorian of the high school tomorrow. <laughs> I really believe Montessori students bring a sense of the real world to, to Evergreen High School from their experiences. Their application of knowledge and what they do on an everyday basis gives them that sense that they can accomplish anything when they come to the high school. They can do that. They can do this. They can figure it out. 
while their environment is changing, they're staying the same, and I hope they take away that confidence. Doesn't come from their outside environment, but can really come from within. So if I were to summarize the value of a Montessori education for our students, it would be that they love learning, they want to keep learning, and they want to do things that will make the world a better place. The gifts that the school gives don't just include academic learning and knowledge and being able to excel at school, but further than the gifts of learning, are the ability to get along with others, organize a group, be a leader, inspire other people, and to just make a difference in the world. Ringo!